Hey Pisces, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for March 2023. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages here for you guys for the rest of the month into April. So take what resonates, obviously leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So we have Leo energy. We also have Capricorn energy here. Let's see what else here for you, Pisces. Also, happy birthday. We have protection, and we also have freedom. I feel like you're trying to protect your freedom in some capacity here. Uh, this could also just be like, there's a strong, like a strong energy I'm getting off of the Leo and the Capricorn energy, like very, like determination almost. Um, so you could be looking at, um, like trying to like almost like fight for something fight for what you feel is important to you trying to protect what you feel is yours let's see yeah transmutation freedom you could be trying to liberate yourself from something as well like really trying to expand something um could be looking to expand just yourself as well like any growth um in your life that you are trying to you know go through let's see we have the knight of pentacles we have the magician what else for Pisces? We have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, we also have the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Lovers here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so definitely got opportunity here because we, we have the um, Ace of Pentacles and Cups here. I feel like you're putting action or taking action with this magician energy towards like putting energy and effort into fulfilling a vision, a dream. Some of you could have a couple things, the seven of cups, like, and then the two aces, like you might have a couple things that are um, of focus to you right now, potentially maybe your career as well as like love, right? Like maybe two different aspects of your life, but it also could be two different like creative projects or financial projects or whatever. But I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, Magician, and the Ace of Pentacles, like you're putting effort and energy into a certain direction here that you see as a vision. Seven of Cups is like, to me, sometimes like a, a vision of like, what what is it that you want to create? What is it that you want to explore here? Um, it can also be a card of distraction and um, illusion. So making sure that you're not getting too caught up in... Um, fantasy i guess i mean you are pisces and a water sign so it's possible but i don't really feel like that's the case i almost feel like you're actually putting earthly tangible like capricorn we got the knight of pentacles the ace of pentacles like putting actual work into the dream and the vision that you have to see it through um really aligning yourself with the vision that you have for yourself and the vision that you're trying to create here even the leo energy is very creative energy I feel like whatever you're creating, it's like coming from the heart space. It's coming from a, it's coming from like the right place. Like your intentions around it are, I want to say pure. So we'll say that. <laughs> That's what wants to come out. Um, clarify this magician energy here for Pisces. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Like you're working on creating change for yourself. Um, growth with the Empress um, looking to expand um, because the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter energy and the Empress is obviously about growth as well so you're looking to expand and grow something in your life and I do feel like as the Empress is can be about birthing something new whether that's a literal human or um, something that you're like just putting effort and energy into right but it's like you're working on expanding things for your future, creating space in your life as well is also what I'm getting. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. 
for Pisces. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the Moon. So again, I feel like you're putting hard work, Nine of Wands, like really putting effort and energy into this. And maybe you've been doing this for a while. Um, I feel like you're trusting yourself with the Moon. And you might be having to push yourself to really um, keep going with this, even if you can't see where it's maybe taking you or where it's leading you, okay? Um, I'm also seeing the moon is like just your energy. Yeah, we have high priestess. So I, I feel like the moon is also signifying like this is you um, putting in this energy and this effort and this commitment. Clarify this ace of cups. Clarify this Ace of Cups here for Pisces. Yeah, Three of Cups, happiness, celebration with the progress that you're going to be making, the action you're going to be taking here. Like, you're taking matters into your own hands. Why the Seven of Cups for Pisces? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you've got a lot of opportunities around you. You could also have a lot of opportunity for help or support um, around you. Off, it could be a lot of different options or ways to make money um, or ways to feel abundant. Like there could be a lot of opportunity that you see. And it's, it's just a matter of which ones you're um, going to say yes or no to. And I don't really, some of you, them, you might be just saying like, not right now type of thing, right? Like, I just see you very focused on your future and what's going to give you practical, tangible results, Six of Pentacles. Like, what's going to give me something right now versus it just being like an idea or a vision, but it's like not necessarily progressing on the material plane, if that makes sense. Again, there's like this strong material focus in the sense of like making your dream a reality it's interesting because i when i did the virgo reading which is your opposite sign they had a lot of like piscean energy that was saying like kind of combining that spiritual nature with their practical earth in nature and i feel like you're implementing the earth with your vision and your spiritual nature so it's, it's kind of interesting how you're both kind of if you have virgo in your chart maybe go and watch that one but I can't really remember what it's about other than that piece. <laughs> um, so let's see what your advice is here. What is the advice for Pisces for the rest of March into April? We have the Ace of Swords. What is the advice? We have the King of Wands. And we have the Tower interesting we also have the hanged man I feel like your advice is to take action on the insight or the like ace of swords in the tower can be like an epiphany like an aha moment like a sudden clarity I feel like if you your advice here is if you're having like sudden realizations about things like take action on those um, if you're all of a sudden like, oh, this is the direction I should move in, like trust that. Don't be worried about making big changes. Like don't be worried about or don't be worried about the big change it could make. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times if a tower falls, it's because it wasn't built on something solid to begin with. So it's usually meant to kind of crumble, right? I just feel like there could be a, a shift here in your perspective or you suddenly start to see something clearly. It's like allow allow that to happen allow that that shift to happen because i feel like the clarity you gain from this sudden realization is is empowering or has the potential to be empowering if you allow it to be so i feel like there's like It's like, don't be afraid to let the t tower crumble if that's what's necessary. Or don't be afraid to go through the change if that's what's necessary here. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Because I feel like you're, if there's a tower happening here, 
or there's like this shift or big change that you're looking at making, it's because it's, it's leading you closer to where you truly see yourself going, like where you see yourself being in the most alignment, which will set you free here. So there could be a big change that you end up down the line kind of like making, or you could be seeing that, oh, I need to make this big shift or I will be making this big shift. And I feel like you can move with that energy because you're creating with the magician here, the Wheel of Fortune, like you're creating this shift here. The longer you try to hold on to it, the harder it gets, right? That's usually when the tower hurts the most is when like we hold on to something we're supposed to be letting go of, right? But I feel like you're in control of this shift you're making. So I would say keep putting in the energy and the effort and the work. And if if you feel called in a certain direction to take action and you feel like that's the right decision, like trust that, even if it creates a big a big wave, a big shift here for you. Um, because I feel like it's going to feel to you like you're, you are moving in the right direction. And don't be afraid to take action. And like if you know you need to take action, just like take the action, right? So that's what I got for you Pisces. Hopefully that resonates. Um, let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of the other signs. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.